Hey guys, we've started our next project, moving on to the next project, getting our trailer unloaded now. We got a, a vinyl seawall going in here. Got an old wood wall that has failed. We're gonna go ahead and get that pulled out. Actually get it dug out first and get it pulled out. Get it all cleaned up and reclaim what we can, get it put on the trailer, then start installing a new vinyl seawall. Here's the old wood wall right here. It served its purpose. Actually doing pretty good, just starting to bow out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and increase the elevation to match the neighbor's wall right here. So we get a little bit of the angle of this yard out. But all this stuff here will be coming out. All the old pilings will be coming out and getting those reclaimed and going back with the new large boathouse and dock with the boat lift in it. A portion of the platform will be covered with the roof also. A little bit of riprap at the toad. We've got to get out of the way. Once we get that out of the way, we get the new wall installed. And we've got six more loads of uh, Rip rep coming, 20 ton loads, but right in front of the wall. yesterday got the entire retainer wall or seawall taken out and dug out put up on the trailer ready to haul off and now we've uh, got on the corner here of course I didn't get a video of it I should have but the neighbor had filled this thing full of concrete had a washout in between the two walls they weren't sealed up properly you kind of see the concrete down there and we're conformed to the vinyl wall but that took a little bit of work to get that broken loose so what we're doing now we don't want to attach the neighbor's wall because we really don't know how well it's tied back we don't want it uh, pulling on our wall so I've got a good flat area right there in the vinyl. I'm taking a two bait wrapped with flipper cloth. And I'm gonna, I drove that down three foot in the ground. I'm gonna put another two bait on it, wrap the cloth around it so it flushes out with the top whaler. And then we can butt our vinyl right up against yep. it and get a good seal. Screw that, put some 
filter cloth on it, seal it up real good. We'll have no leaks there. We're going to join on to the uh, corner return right there and run a 10 foot wall back up into the property. We got a little bit of an elevation change about 16 inches. What are you doing, Gavin? lunch today pretty cool graffiti pizza Man, it's nice mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> especially on a cold day it's gonna be good existing um, yard drain system reinstalled. The neighbor's drain was connected into this one, but we relocated it going back through the uh, tube holes, keeping their drain system on our yard. Hey guys, we're finishing this project up now. It turned out really good. Got a wood top cap installed. We're finishing up the last little bit of it right this minute. If y'all haven't subscribed on my page yet, please do so. Give me a thumbs up and a comment if you got one. I'll try to get back with you. And I appreciate y'all watching my channel. Thank you. We left the middle out because the platform for the dock and all, as soon as we get the dock built in the boathouse, it's going to come over top of the seawall and blend in all as one piece. It's going to look really nice. Care on carpentry effects by John. <laughs> Check that out. Look good? <laughs>